Hi everyone, Abhishek here and welcome to Key to Blogging. And in this video, I will show you how you can add a newsletter form like this in your WordPress website. So as you can see, I have created a newsletter in my WordPress website using the Cadence Blog plugin. And I have integrated this form with the MailChimp. So let's check how you can integrate your MailChimp in your WordPress website and collect emails from your visitors. So for this, you have to go to your WordPress dashboard and here let me just go to the plugin section and let me just click on active plugin so as you can see here i am using the cadence blog plugin so if you are not using this plugin then you can simply install it and this is a free page builder plugin based on gutenberg so after installing this plugin you have to go to the pages section and here i will click on add new now you can set the title like newsletter and let me just do some basic setting in this page so i will click on the page layout here and i will hide the title and i will set the page layout to full width and i will disable the content vertical padding okay now let me just add a heading so i will click on plus and i will click on the advanced text here and i can simply add the heading like subscribe to our newsletter and let me just select it and i can set it to align center now i will click on show more setting and i can increase the font size a little bit now let me just select it and i can set the spacing so let me just add a top margin of 30 now let me just save this page and let's preview this page in the front end okay this is how the newsletter page looks like so let me just add more spacing from the top so i will set the margin to around 55 and let me just click on plus here and i will click on advanced text here and let me just do some settings like here you will get updates directly into your inbox or something like that so let me just do it so here you will get all the latest updates to your inbox no spam ever something like that and i will change the h2 tag to paragraph tag and i will make it to align center and i can increase the font size so let me just select the show more settings and i can change the font size here like this so you can adjust it so let's make it to 30 and i will select the newsletter from here and i will click on the arrow button and i will click on the highlight option and as you can see the newsletter word is now highlighted and you can also change the highlighted color by clicking on the highlight setting and here you can change the highlight color okay now the section is added so we can add the second section so let me just add a row layout again so i will click on row layout and i will select the two equal row layout and in the first section let me just add an image so i will click on the image block and i will upload an image from my computer okay now the image is added let me just add the form in the right side so i will search for form and i will click on add so this form is provided by the cadence block plugin and here i don't want to add the message box so i will just delete the message box here and i can change the submit button to like subscribe and let me just click on the button and let's change the submit style to full 
something like that now i will select this section form section and i can change it to align middle and i will click on the image and i will click on the image section and i will set the alignment to middle now let me just adjust the image size so first of all i will change the image to advanced image so that i will get more controls over it so let me just change the size to medium 300 and here you can also change the max width like that so i will set it to 300 like this and i will change the align to center and now i will select the whole row layout from here and i will click on this option and i will use theme content inner width and i will click on here and i will click on full width okay now let me just adjust the font setting so i will click on name here and here in the name setting i will set it to required and instead of labels i will add a placeholder so i will close this and i will copy the name and i will set the placeholder like this now let me just click on the email so let's click on email setting and instead of level i will add a placeholder so like this or you can set like email address and it will add a placeholder in the box okay now let me just add a background in the whole row layout so i will click on background setting and let me just add a background like this okay now our subscribe form is added let's integrate the mailchimp with this form so to integrate the mailchimp let me just close this now click on action after submit and here instead of email you can select any other email marketing tool so in free version you will get the mailer light fluent crm and in pro version you will add the mailchimp form so to integrate mailchimp let me just install the pro version in this theme so i will just go to the dashboard and i will go to the plugin and i will activate the cadence pro add-on so let me just activate this and let me just activate the cadence blocks pro okay now let me just go to the page and let me just save this draft and let me just refresh this page okay now i will click on the form and click on action after submit and i will change the email to mailchimp now let's close here and here you will see this option mailchimp mailchimp settings so you have to enter the api key of your mailchimp to integrate this form with the mailchimp email marketing tool so here i have logged into my mailchimp dashboard so here click on the profile here now you have to click on the extra option and here you will get the api keys so just click on api keys and here you have to create a api keys so here let me just create a key here now you can set a label to remember this api key and just copy the api key from here and let's go to the website and i will add the api keys here and i will click on save okay now it asks you to select the audience so i will select the audience like this and here in the name field i will select the first name and in the email field i will select the email now if you want to confirm the email so when someone sign up this form it will send a confirmation email to the inbox so here to do this you have to click on require double opt-in so here in this way you can protect spam email subscribe so that whenever someone confirm the email address it will add it to your email box now you can further optimize this form like you can set the basic spam check to on you can also integrate google recaptcha but i don't use this and here you can 
adjust the field size and here you can change the button color so let's click on submit style and here you can change the button color or you can change the button size to large so let me just set it to medium and here you can change the background color so let me just change the button background color like this so in this way you can change the button color and you can change the text color also and you can also change the hover background color so let me just change the hover background color like this so in this way you can change the color and you can also add a border radius or border width so i will leave this like this now let's click on message setting and these are the message whenever someone enter the email address it will send a success message like this or it will add a error message like this so let's click on setting here and i will click on paste and i will click on permalink so it is set to newsletter so let me just publish this page okay now the page is published let's view this page so this is how the newsletter page looks like this and user can easily enter the name and email address and click on subscribe button so let me just enter my name and email address and i will click on subscribe so it will see a submission success message like this so now let's add the newsletter button in our navigation menu so let me just go to the customize option so before that let me just copy the page url from here and i will go to customize and here i will click on the header setting and i will add a button in the navigation menu so i can simply drag the button and i will add the button like this and i will adjust the button position to like this and i will click on the button setting and here i can change the level to subscribe and i can add that url here so that whenever someone click on the button it will redirect to our newsletter page and you can also set it in new tab and here you can change the button outline so i will click on field and you can also set the button visibility to everyone locked in or locked out users so i will set it to everyone now let's click on design and here you can change the button size like this so here i will click on custom and i can set the top padding to something like 10 and i can change the bottom padding to 10 and make it right and left to 15 now scroll down and i don't want to add border radius so i will make it to 0 or you can add border radius of 3 or 5 and you can also add box shadow so this is basically the button shadow and let's change the x axis to 2 and y axis to 2 and i will add a blur effect of 2 so it will add a button shadow effect to this button okay now let me just publish this now let me just go to the home page and as you can see the subscribe button is added to our navigation menu and when i click on this button it will redirect to our newsletter page so in this way you can collect name and email address from your visitors and send customized emails to their inbox I hope you got the idea how to add a email opt-in subscribe form in your WordPress website and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if this content is helpful to you then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging. Thank you.